A DeBerry woman caught a couple allegedly aggravating an alligator while visiting Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive Christmas Day. She got it all on camera, but to her surprise, the gator never became aggressive. Channel 9's Karen Parks spoke to the folks over at Gatorland about why that gator didn't fight back. Karen? Well, we spoke with the experts over at Gatorland who told us that alligators may be slower in the winter, but don't mess with any wildlife, regardless of how cold or hot it may be. I go mainly to de-stress, take some photos. I enjoy photography. And on Christmas Day, what started out as a peaceful experience along Lake Apopka turned ugly. I could see the people very, very close to the alligator, but couldn't really tell what was going on until I looked through my camera lens. And when Tammy Lavelle took a closer look, and I realized that he kept, like, nudging and aggravating the alligator. She captured the alleged attack and told Channel 9 another witness called Orange County Sheriff's Office. But deputies could not confirm the call, so we decided to blur the couple's face. The alligator surprisingly didn't go after him. We showed the photos to the experts at Gatorland. In the state of Florida, it is against the law to feed, touch, and catch a wild alligator. Um, that's a Florida statute, not to harass any wildlife. Brandon Fisher told Channel 9 alligators can be slower in cooler temperatures temperatures, but don't be fooled. It's a wild animal. Um, it's a potentially dangerous animal, and it's something you don't want to mess with. Now, the couple has not been identified, but Tammy Lavelle hopes that will change real soon. Reporting live here at Lake Apopka, Karen Park, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.